back to One Mouse, One Dream. In this video, I'll be sharing with you guys the before and after of my Disney ba um, guest bathroom. So my um, guest bathroom before um, was just all beach themed. I am also, besides a Disney fan, I'm a big um, beach lover as well. I love the beach for so many different reasons. Um, one of just the way it makes me feel and just, um, you know, just the idea of relaxing and having your toes in the sand just makes me feel good inside just like it does when I go to Disney and for different reasons. But in this video, I'm going to show um, how I sort of spiced up my um, guest bathroom that was just strictly a beach theme, but made it a little bit more um, Disney inspired as well. So I'm going to show the um, before video um, with you in a second, and I'll sort of, sort of tell you what some ideas that I had um, to create the bathroom and make it a little bit more Disney inspired. I didn't necessarily do everything that I was planning to just because one, I haven't found everything that I wanted to use and I still have some other ideas that I'm working with. So if I ever come across um, the things that I want to um, spice up the bathroom a little bit more, I definitely will do that. It's just I haven't gotten to that point at, um, in time at the moment. So right now I'm going to share with you guys um, the before of the bathroom. So this is what my bathroom looks like currently. Um, again, this bathroom is a beach theme um, and my hopes is to eventually somehow tie in um, some Disney type things to the bathroom while keeping it still in the beach theme because I love the beach as well. Um, my shower curtain is just a chevron um, pattern. It is off-white with tan. On one end I have a starfish hanging just to give it a little bit more beach inspiration. And I have the same type of starfish, just a different color, hanging on the other end. Over here is the bookshelf that I have. On top I just have a sign that says beach. It sort of looks like um, that old repurposed wood that people use to create picture frames and things like that. Um, just a seagrass type um, little tall display type thing. Um, a lantern without a candle in it, so that's definitely a to-do to put a candle in there. And then these two things are actually two starfishes that I picked up on a cruise to, well, yeah, to Cozumel, Mexico a few years ago, and I just thought they were really cute um, to bring back um, from Mexico. Not too big to be able to fit into our suitcase. And then on here, it's sort of just a bunch of mismatch things at the moment. Um, I want to redo this, you know, make it a little bit neater, add another um, candle. There's obviously some candles missing. Um, in the one jar, I just have driftwood that I found over the years on the beaches, mostly more recently from like Outer Banks. Um, then this jar here actually contains all the soaps that you get from the Disney resorts when you stay on Disney property, and that's sort of how this um, room transformation start of took place is because with that those having um, Mickey prints on the soap that's where my idea was oh I could sort of make this a beach slash Mickey um, guest bathroom and on the bottom I just have a picture frame that I recently got from a trip on to the Outer Banks and then I just store extra toilet paper down at the bottom over here is our sink area and um, on here, I just have a few things at the moment. Um, nothing special, just a dish with some sand and starfish in here. And then um, over here, I have um, just a Bath and Body Works soap pump as well as a Mickey Mouse soap pump. My intentions is to eventually get rid of the Bath and Body Works um, pump and just use the Mickey um, soap dispenser once I get it painted. I'm thinking of painting it white. If not, maybe like a blue color or silver. I'm not sure yet. But this was the soap that I was just talking about in the um, clear jar. You can see that there is a Mickey impression on the soap, which is really cute. Um, and then over in the far corner, I just have um, a night light that was purchased at one of our um, trips to Outer Banks. So now I'm just going to close the door so you guys can see 
what the space looks like from back here. So obviously that was a door that I just closed and then this is our linen closet over here with all of our guest um, bathroom supplies in there. Um, so my plans for the room, obviously to do some things to the counter, um, add some more decorations. I'd love to find some sort of figurine, like a Mickey figurine to put on there that I could maybe paint like a solid color to make it more sort of um, neutral, you know, in here. Um, to keep it with the relaxing beach theme that I have going on. Over in this area here, with the, between the two closet doors, I actually have um, a project that I'm working already. Um, it's a couple pieces of um, canvas to make um, into the beach theme slash Mickey theme for the bathroom. And then I also have a another canvas that's going to go above here which is above the toilet and again that's going to be a Mickey slash beach inspiration and then I'm not really sure what else is going to go on over here like I said I just want to really um, reorganize it you know dress it up a little bit and just try to tie everything together without going one extreme or the other like more beach or versus Mickey so I'm really excited to eventually share with you guys what it's going to look like the other thing is on my to list is find a rug that fits there um, the rug that I have over here on the floor is actually one of those like shag rugs and it's really soft and comfortable but it's a little bit too thick to open and close the door there so I need to get something um, that will be a little bit flatter to fit here. So I hope you guys enjoy seeing what the room um, looks like before I do all the changes. Okay, so now you guys seen the before of the bathroom and I, you know, hope you guys got a good viewpoint of, you know, how the bathroom looks currently, well, how it looked currently um, before, um, because I'm about to show you guys the after soon, but um, I hope you guys got a good idea of what the bathroom looked like and um, sort of some of the ideas that I was thinking about doing um, for the bathroom. And now I'm gonna share with you the after video. And again, like I said earlier, I haven't um, had a chance to finalize everything that I wanted to do in the bathroom, um, but I definitely am happy with how it's turned out so far. If you guys have any ideas, you know, after you see the after video, please share um, your ideas with me as well. So here's the after video. All right, so I'm ready to show you guys the after. So when you first walk in, you can see one big change, and that is I moved the brown bookshelf that was over here in this corner next to the toilet to this side. Um, I wanted to find some sort of table type thing for here, but I realized that I didn't really have anything in the house that would work in that space to leave enough room for walking through. But what I did have is this table over here in the corner and this table over here in the corner actually was black. I had it in a different area in our house and I wasn't using it at the moment, so I just sort of gave it a like beachy white um, and blue um, paint look to it. Can't really see it on here, it looks more blue just on top, but there is sort of like a white wash through it. And I left the base um, white. So I think that fits really well over there in the corner. Um, I have a galvanized bin just with towels, which is perfect for when guests need to get a towel and they're not like, oh, where are your towels? Um, so I think that looks great. Um, the two new pieces also on this table are the um, white vase and the green vase. Those were actually um, bright red at one point, which you can still sort of see on the bottom. They were from a store called Christmas Tree Shops. I'm not sure if you guys have that in your area or not, but they were like super cheap, like $1.99 or something. And when I had um, our decor in our living room red, I had them from the, that time. So I just sort of reused and repurposed them for this room, which is perfect because then I don't have to go out and buy more things. Um, I'm sure we all have those basement or garage or somewhere in our home, you know, areas where like, stuff we can reuse and repurpose. So before the beach sign was on top of that wood um, bookshelf over here, I just hung it up now. I feel like it looks nice hung. On the top of the toilet, 
I still haven't found a tray that I wanted, um, but I think the little soap dishes and um, the starfish candle holder looks nice. You can see I have some of my Mickey soap just lying in the dishes, which looks really pretty. Just give that a little bit of Disney decor, but still keeping the beach theme in mind. So then coming over here, this is one of the big projects that I was working on um, to really tie in Disney to this room. So as you can see on this canvas here, I painted um, three different um, Mickey heads in different colors to keep with the beach sort of theme and the colors that I have going on here. And this was actually an old canvas that I had from um, a picture hanging in our bedroom that again, I just repurposed, painted it, you know, tan with acrylic paint and then other colors of acrylic paint. And then next to it, I have a little sign that says retreat with a little seahorse on it. And then next to it, it says serenity with a little bit of coral. So these again were super easy, just um, some canvases that I had lying around. Again, if you don't have them hanging around, you could easily just go to the craft store and purchase just like a blank um, canvas and make these on your own. How I created the words, um, I actually printed out um, a, on my Cricut cartridge. Um, I'll link below what that information is. Um, I printed out the words and sort of traced it and then painted around it myself. So again, I think it came out really cute. I know this may not be for everybody, but like with as much love that I have for Disney and for the beach, I really wanted to tie the two together and I think it came out perfect. Um, on top here, I just did my starfish collection, the two that I got from um, a trip to Cozumel, Mexico. And then these ones here I got from Outer Banks. The next shelf down, I still haven't put a picture in there, which I just realized, um, but um, I have a picture frame from Outer Banks. It goes great with this theme. Some hand towels and washcloths. Um, next shelf down is some driftwood that I found at the beach, you know, over the years. Um, just a Yankee Candle candle, and then all of my Mickey soaps in the um, jar there. And then next two shelves down, just a photo in a blue frame that I thought looked great in the room with some seashells that I've collected and some backup toilet paper. So then coming over to the sink, nothing's really changed in here. Still my uh, fish dish with sand and starfish again yes um again here is the mickey um soap pump that i spray painted silver it was originally black and then my current soap dish that i have um with my soap from basin at downtown disney and then this over here is new um sorry i have something here it doesn't belong <laughs> um this here I painted again, it was actually pink um, with this tan and I just painted the pink part um, blue. Again, it was something that I had in um, my basement that was just sitting there waiting to go to the yard sale pile and, you know, that's what I decided to do. Um, this is awesome. This big jar used to be a huge pickle jar and I just um, cleaned off the front of it, um, you know, soaked it and used uh, Goo Gone to get the label and stuff off. And then up top I just spray painted this silver. I think it's just really cute to display some more um, driftwood in there. And then I just have a little lantern with a uh, candle. And then this was there before my night light that I got at the Outer Banks a few years ago. And then my last Disney inspiration is this canvas that again that I repurposed a different canvas that I had. Um, it used to say beach on it and I just painted it over with um, a really pretty like teal like aqua color kind of thing. And then the Mickey head part itself was um, just cut out from scrapbook paper. So this seashell part here is actually just scrapbook paper that I cut out in a Mickey head and um, decoupaged on top of it with obviously Mod Podge. And then up close I actually did put some real seashells on there to give it like a three-dimensional look to tie into the um, whole picture. So again, I really think, hey, um, I really think everything turned out really nice. You know, there's still a few things that I have some ideas um, to sort of spice it up even more. But at this point, um, I was doing my nails earlier, so that's my little container. <laughs> um, 
I really think it turned out really great. Um, you know, just to add a little bit more Disney to your life. You know, if you guys get some ideas from this, I think it's, um, you know, really awesome. And there you have it. The, bef the You know, this is now the after of my bathroom for our guests. Okay, so there you have it. That's my Disney guest bathroom that I spiced up from being just a regular everyday beach theme um, to add a little bit of Disney magic to it. Um, you know, as you can see, it's not that hard to add a few little um, touches here and there that still blends really well with um, your overall theme. I think it can easily be done to any type of bathroom, um, even just a regular um, beautiful decor. It doesn't have to be like a, di like a beach theme, but even just adding like, you know, a cute little Mickey um, spray painted, um, you know, him. Um, soap dispenser sorry i couldn't say that um just in whatever color that you have going on just to give it a little bit more disney inspired um to make you feel you know magical every day more so than what you you know would normally um experience um just because i know personally like anytime i see or hear or read anything about disney it just you know um i don't know like makes me feel a little bit happier um just because it is my happy place um so i think it was great to mesh both um, my love for Disney and my love for the beach into one and I'm excited you know down the road what else I might find um, to put in our Disney guest bathroom so thank you guys so much again for watching this video I hope you guys get some great ideas for your own bathrooms or maybe for some other rooms throughout your house to sort of um, create some more um, Disney inspiration to your lives and if you guys have any ideas for me, um, that what things that what you guys have done to your home um, to make it um, more Disney-fied, um, I would love to hear um, your ideas and you know share them with me so that maybe I can you know in, um, input that into my own home as well, or maybe even just share with others that might be commenting on the videos and things. So again, thank you so much for watching and have a magical day.